So let's take this example. T of n equals 5t of n over 4 plus n squared. Yeah. 5t of n over 4 plus t squared. So let's try to solve this using the recursion tree method. So solving the recursion tree method, we start with n squared. Level 0 is n squared. Now how many branches? five branches. So we have five branches. And each branch is what? Four. Yeah, n by four squared. So it's n by four squared. And this is n by four squared. n by four squared. n by four squared n by 4 squared. Then the next level, what do we have? We have 5 more. So we have 5, each one of them will have 5 branches. So this is <coughs> 5. And each one of them is going to be what? n by 16. n by 16, <coughs> n by 16 squared. Okay, and then we'll get to the base, and in the base we'll have D. It will be just a constant in the base. Now, step number one is what? It should be n squared by 16. N squared by 16? Why? No. It's the value squared. So you square, you divide by 4, then you square. So you divide this by s by 4, then you square. So it's, okay, Let, so like we did it last time. Okay, so it's t of x equals 5t of x by 4 plus x squared. So substitute x equals n over 4. So what, this, what will it give you? So it's t of n over 4, 5t of n over 16 plus n over 4 squared. And if you substitute n over 16, it's going to be n over 16 squared. Okay, so you divide it, then you square. Uh, okay, so now what's the first step? The height h equals log in base what? What's b? Log in base b and what's b? 4. Log in base 4. Now number of leaves l equals a power h. And a here is what? 5. 5 power log n base 4, four. which four. means n log 5 base 4. And I will just leave it. I don't care the, you know, what this So it's log 5 base 4 is something slightly greater than 1. Less than 2, but greater than 1. And I will leave it, because I may not need to know what it is exactly. Even if at the end you have something like this, you can leave it log 5 base 4 and uh, we know that it's one point something not very important what that thing is uh, so now the most important step is counting the cost at each level so here the cost is n squared here what do we have we have 4 sorry 5 5 n over 4 squared, right? And what do we have here? So we have 25 or 5 squared n over 16 squared. 
So, you know, you can think of this as n squared divided. So this is 5n squared divided by 4 squared. And this is 5 squared n squared divided by 16 squared, right? Uh, well, 16 squared is what? So, 16 squared is, uh, so 4 squared squared, right? 4 is 3. 4 is 3. So, it's, yeah, 4 squared, uh, <coughs> yeah, 4 squared squared, which is, uh, yeah, 4 raised to the power 4. So now, what's the general formula? So what's the cost? Uh, let's write it here. Cost at level i. This is the key. So cost at level i. So you have the n squared. So I have 5 power what? 5 power i. Because this is the level number. So it's 5 power i. n squared. And 4 power what? 2i. Yeah, 2i. Or you can think of it as 16 power i. Yeah, 4 2i or 16 power i. Same thing. So you can 2i or you can think of it as 16 power i. 16 power i. Or in other words, it's 5 by 16 power i multiplied by n squared. Because this is going to be the base of the geometric series. So uh, the internal cost, of course, you know, the base cost, we know. The base cost is this thing, number of leaves multiplied by a constant. So you multiply this by a constant, and that's the base cost. <laughs> now the internal cost is sigma you can take n squared out because it doesn't depend on i. i equals 0 to h minus 1 of 5 over 16 power i. And this is n squared uh, 5 over 16. What? Power what? power h, which is log in base 4, minus 1 divided by 5 over 16 minus 1. Okay? So this is, le this is negative and this is, so we, we can uh, you know, reverse them, so we can get n squared multiplied by uh, 1 minus 5 over 16, so that's minus 11 over 16. So minus divided by 11 over 16, so it's 16 by 11. 16 by 11. N squared by 1 minus, um, this is N log 5 base 4 <coughs> divided by n log 16 base 4. Okay, and so this is 16 over 11 n squared 1 minus n log 5 base 4 divided by n squared. And what's this? So this is going to be 16 over 11 n squared minus 16 over 11 n log 5 base 4. And what's this? What's the, what's the final answer? N squared. N squared. So this is less than 2. Log 5 base 4 is 1 point something. So this goes away. And the base cost goes away too, 
because they are lower order. The highest order is n squared. What's the highest order in all of these terms? So this is one term, second term, third term. The highest order term, n squared. N squared. So this is theta of n squared. Mm -hmm. T of n equals theta of n squared. Okay, so just in time. Uh, <coughs> so by the way, if we apply the if we apply the master theorem, what will it tell us? So if we apply the master theorem to this, what will what will it give us? Mm -hmm. So it will give us n log five base four compared to n squared, n squared and n squared wins. Yeah. Okay. So the master theorem will tell us that the answer is n squared. <laughs> anyway, but we need to learn how to use the recursion tree method because not all problems are solvable by the master theorem. Okay, so.